In recognition of International Fact-Checking Day, we decided to highlight the increasing ability of artificial intelligence tools to generate realistic images. We're going to look at two recent stories about images that falsely depict former President Donald Trump and the Pope. First up, former President Trump predicted New York authorities would arrest him on March 21st. That same morning, fake images appearing to show Trump in handcuffs went viral. In this case, a reverse image search helped us figure out that these pictures weren't real. That search led us to this Twitter post and other AI-generated images of Trump being arrested. They were created using Midjourney, an AI application that can generate realistic images based on a user's prompts. Midjourney later banned the word arrest as a prompt and banned the user who created the fake images. Next, you may have seen this viral image of the Pope wearing a puffer coat. This was also created using the AI tool Midjourney. The picture contained one big clue that it was fake, distortion around his fingers. Historically, AI isn't great at accurately generating hands, although it is getting better. There's also the context. The Pope doesn't wear a puffer coat. He normally wears an overcoat called a Greca in the winter. A reverse image search again led us to the source, a Reddit post from a now suspended account. Each of these examples are very realistic at first glance, and technology is only making them better. It's likely we'll keep seeing more of these images, so think twice before sharing your next social post so you can avoid unintentionally spreading misinformation. And remember, you can always tag us at Verify This if there's anything you want help to verify. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.